If you're starting any plants from seed, you need a place to grow them. And sometimes our house can get a little bit cramped or we don't have enough window light. Sometimes we have to dedicate a special area of our house to plants. All right, the shelving unit finally arrived. I do have a very small, simple, cheap setup in my basement, and this is going to be no different, except now I'm going to work vertically. And today I'm going to walk you through how I set up this new plant rack stand in a small area of my house on a budget. So at the end of this video, I'm going to walk through the costs of each of these items that I put together. So this is more of a do-it-yourself project. I didn't purchase a prefab or a packaged greenhouse set. I just decided what I wanted to get together and I priced it out. I was able to fit a rack that's four feet by six feet tall and that's gonna do me really well for the next couple years. So let's walk through this plant stand build step by step. The instructions look pretty easy. The great thing about a shelf like this is it makes your rack adjustable. So as your plants start, they're going to be really small, but plants grow. So as the plants grow a lot taller, you can raise or lower your shelves and give your plant a lot more growing space. There's actually markers along the way so you know how to line it up with the other posts. Snap them in, there you go. Okay, so I have brought half of this shelving unit into the space where it is going to stay. And one thing that I'd like to mention is that if you're building a piece of furniture in a different area, then you're going to keep that piece of furniture just like I have. Please be aware of the width and the height of a doorway, a frame, a walkway, a hallway, anything that you need to take a piece of furniture you built and move it into a space that you're going to keep it. If you build something and you didn't figure out your clearance, you might have to disassemble take it apart that's gonna take time it's gonna frustrate you and for me even though this is a really tight area I'm going to finish building it in here it would have been a lot nicer to build it in a larger open space area but here we are so I brought this shelving unit in and it's extremely wobbly no piece of furniture should be wobbly it's super dangerous and I'm going to secure this shelf before building the rest of it up and by doing so with this rack I have the adjustable feet and that is easy. It will take one second to just twist the knobs and make sure this is level. Okay, so I am now done building the shelf. It is secure, it looks great. And now I'm going to add the lights. So I'm gonna put a light here, a light fixture here. And this is going to turn into an awesome area to grow my plants. It is way better than it was before. Okay, for this next step, I'm going to be adding the lights. This is the best part. This means the project's almost done and I can start putting my plants in here and watching them grow. So what I need to hang these lights are some S hooks. I'll need the pliers because I'm going to be adding chains and adding the chain is going to let me raise and lower these lights. In any space that you have, you want to have air circulation. You need to have a little bit of airflow. I have these fans. I hook these fans up just to add a little bit of a breeze. It helps the plants move around, doesn't collect as much dust. Voila! Now you have a unit with some airflow, some lights, and this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna go get the plants. Okay, so this is a four tier wire rack. And the reason I purchased this rack is because it was only about $100. So the benefits and features of having a wire rack is that the shelves are adjustable, the feet are adjustable, so if you have an uneven ground, it's very easy to quickly spin the feet and make it level. Also, because I have the hanging lights, I'm able to use S-hooks, and I can put these S-hooks anywhere. I can hang the lights 
anywhere I need. And another benefit of having the wire rack is that the light can go through to the next shelf. So you're not having a solid shelf where it's opaque and you can't get any light through whatsoever, that this light will shine all the way to the next plant and so on and so on. If we're looking at the light bulbs, there's two lights in this fixture unit. The fixture itself was $50 and each light bulb was $10. So for this whole four foot long 64 watt unit, we're looking at about $70. What I also purchased were, these were about $5 fans. You need a little bit of air circulation. This unit did come with its own chain. I lost it, so I just had to purchase a $2 chain. One long one I cut into pieces. As well, I purchased some S hooks, and they were a package of for, I believe for five dollars so you are under three hundred dollars for a huge plant stand Okay, so everyone, thanks so much for watching. I'm really glad I was able to show you how I set up a plant stand. And again, it doesn't have to be very expensive. If you have a smaller space, you can reduce the size of the shelf, reduce the cost, reduce the lights, and just see what you can work with. So keep an eye out for a couple of new videos in the upcoming weeks because I'm going to show you an update on this shelf. And you'll see little tiny seedlings grow into big, beautiful plants that will be ready to plant inside the garden. So I'm going to turn it on so you can see how bright it is and we'll see you again in a couple weeks when the rack is full of plants.